Hey peoples, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ashley Michelle. Thank you for being here if you're new. Thank you for returning if you are not. Um, by the time you see this video, I will probably be over my cold. Hopefully, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, please. But for right now, I am still uh, handling myself. So I apologize for any coughing and whatever, whatever, whatever. I am a human. I can only do human things. And like getting over a cold in five seconds is not one of those. So, today I have a new tag for you guys. I know we're getting tag heavy again. It's okay, just go with it. Um, it's a tag for um, the end of 2018. It was created by Mina, the goth witch, and I'll leave all of her links down in the description below. She's a beautiful person. I love listening to her. She always has some very interesting uh, points and some very interesting ideas so hopefully this will be out and in perfect time for you guys to catch up on one last video if you don't have any ideas for the end of december um i love tags i especially love end of the year things <coughs> things that have a lot to do with reflection are always my favorite so these are the faves of 18. Um, so she said that it incorporates witchy tag questions as well as magical tag questions and self-development tag questions. So I'll have to check and see if like all of these other uh, hashtags are hashtags <laughs> are actual um, actual tags because if they are then your girl is on it. Um, she specifically says, as I mentioned, please feel free to elaborate on why you answered the way you did. So we get a nice background story as well. If you decide to do this tag, then comment below with the link. So you can go to her video, original video, where she explains the tag and comment your link so that way she can watch it. Um, and it looks like she's going to have a playlist. So that's exciting. I might break this up into like a couple of, I might break this up just so you know. Okay. <coughs> Question number one, what is your favorite magical item that you either bought, made, or were gifted? Um, that's a toss up between two things. And if you know me at all, you probably know what those two things are already. Number one, my pestle and mortar. And number two, my Green Witch tarot deck. So number one, the pestle and mortar. Um, I bought that myself uh, at a local uh, metaphysical shop, uh, Stone Age. They also have an online store, which I will see if I can try to find um, their Etsy and, and pop it up in here for you guys so you can. I think it's Moon and Crescent. Stone and Crescent, Moon and Crescent. I don't know. I'll pop it down in the description box. Um, but I bought it from them. I bought, I buy most of my metaphysical items from them or my witchy items from them, uh, just because they're the only local shop that I know of, um, and really enjoy. And I, I say that because I bought it for witchy purposes. Right. And then I, decided that I wasn't really the type of person that needed to have like <coughs> separation between my magical and mundane life, so to speak, in terms of in my home. Um, so I use it. I mean, like we've talked about this recently, like my boyfriend uses it to make fucking salsa, right? And he uses it to crush herbs and stuff like that. I use it to crush herbs so that way I can make incense, which I haven't actually made. I've just crushed all the herbs. I keep forgetting to make the incense cones, but that's going to be a new thing for next year. That's what I want to, I want to focus on is like making my own things and, you know, really infusing, uh, creations with my magic. So those are my two favorite magical items. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, what is your favorite spell magical exercise you did? I don't think that I was very spell heavy. Uh, 
this this year. I think that this year has been a very challenging year. And I think a lot of people can agree with that. Um, and <sighs> magical exercise. <coughs> <coughs> Um, I did like a ritualistic cleansing, um, a couple months ago. And I, I think that that was very, very <sighs> nice. And it, I think it released a little bit of, um, I, I think it was like, I just kind of labeled it as a release spell, right? Um, but I think that it really released some like toxic energy that I had brewing in me. And that was great. That was fabulous. And I, I kind of let it all wash away. And that's something that I think that I might uh, do again here soon. Um, specifically with Yule. I have the Yule Ritual Kit. I can't find the freaking packet that came with it. And I've been freaking out about it for two days. I'm going to check in my car today. <coughs> because I know I brought it with me. Oh, it might be in my backpack. That's probably where it is. Um... Yeah, and I've been freaking out for no reason. But I brought it with me, and I, I want to do that ritual. Um, but I also don't know if I have the energy to do that ritual on Yule. And that sucks, but I'm not, like, too bothered by it, right? Um, number three, what's your favorite witchy tool you worked with? Um, Tarot. Probably tarot or my mortar and pestle. Uh, most likely tarot, though. That's, I use my tarot a little bit more often. Um, because I... Oh, God. I'm trying to also learn to, like, use tarot with other people. And, um, you know, when you have that nose feeling like you're going to sneeze and you're like, hell no, it's not going to happen right now. Um... Definitely, definitely my tarot. And I think that, you know, I'm always trying to, like, gain more insight and gain more self-exploration. And tarot really allows me to do that. Tarot really allows me to kind of look inside myself and, and figure out my own shit when I'm just, like, too close to it. Number four, what was your favorite element to work with and why? Earth. Always. Uh, pretty much always. It's always earth. Which is really funny, right? Because, like... Um, I'm kind of trying to get more into astrology a little bit too, and my ascending, to my understanding, is sometimes when I put things into generators, I feel like they're lying to me, <laughs> but my ascending sign is Virgo, which is an earth sign, and everyone that I've really, uh, met online, I think, has always pegged me for either an air or a um, earth sign, and I'm a I'm a fire sign. I'm a water sign. I'm I'm an air sign. <coughs> my sun and moon are in Sagittarius, and like I said, my ascending is in Virgo. But um, I've never seen myself as like a fire sign, right? Uh, but then I think about like all the Latin jokes that I make about myself, like, oh, it's because I'm Mexican, or like, oh, it's because I'm Latin. Like, yeah, that, like, hot-bloodedness and that, like, fucking uh, fire and impatience and, like, all those things, right? And, like, okay, I could I could see where maybe I'm a fire sign. <laughs> but, but I like to think that I'm more grounded than that, but I'm probably really not. Uh, but definitely Earth, uh, because I just, I love... I love planting and I love watching something grow and being able to be a part of that process. I just got a huge new rosemary and it's not growing the way that I want it to. Um, I did keep it inside uh, and I and I did I put it near a window but not underneath the window because like I don't have a lot of window space like all my windows are being covered by something or being used by something so I, I put it outside most recently. Um, but my rosemary that goes outside doesn't tend to grow well. Um, I have a rosemary inside that is like a year old, but all the rosemaries, I've bought like five different rosemaries. And once I put them outside, it's just like the sun is either too hot for them or they're not getting enough of something. And I can't understand what it is. And I don't know what it is. And I want to know. I want to fix it. 
Rosemary is one of my favorite and I, I just really, I use it all the time. I use it every day. Um, so I really want to find out what's going wrong, why I'm not uh, able to keep it uh, well. Number five, what was your favorite deity, angel, or energy that you worked with? Earth energy. I don't have uh, deities uh, that I work with, and I don't necessarily think that I ever work with angels. I work very highly off of intuition, and um, which one could argue my intuition is being like pushed by you know spirit guides and angels, but I don't know of them if they are there. Uh, so I haven't connected with them, so I, I don't consider them a part of my practice. Um, but definitely earth energy, any kind of nature, I really bring that into my practice. I try to bring it into my home. Like I have my rosemary, like I said, I have several other plants that I've brought in. If you look, uh, in my living room, there's literally this, like, dead plants everywhere like not dead right like they're dead because they're cut off of the original plant but like there's like drying plants everywhere sorry that sounds so morbid there's dead plants everywhere but yeah like I have drying plants everywhere everywhere in my living room um there used to be like two right up here right but we moved them for the stockings there used to be some like catnip hanging up over there like I use these things every day and it's just nice to kind of like use it get out <laughs> what was your favorite thing you crafted <coughs> I've done a lot of candle making for <coughs> for coffee table coven I've done a lot of candle making and um I've done a lot of bath salt making and I really love making bath salts. I made the cutest, oh fuck, I wish I wasn't like sitting down and like it was hard to get up. Um, <laughs> I made this really cute, um, you know how you can get clear ornaments, like at Walmart, um, and you can like fill them with stuff and paint them and whatever. Uh, so I made recently for Coffee Table Coven, spoiler alert, <laughs> um, if you're getting a Coffee Table Coven box, uh, you'll be getting this. So I, it was Epsom salt, some essential oil that had like very citrusy, tangerine type influences, and um, hibiscus, rose petals, and lavender, right? And I just like fucking mix it all up my little my little shit right and um so I I mixed that up and I put it in the ornament and so it looks so beautiful it looks so cute I love it to death I don't know how I'm just gonna use it that's not my problem <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna use it now you, can, you can probably just drop the ball in your your damn bath water honestly and and eventually like it'll all you know the salt will dissolve. That's probably, I should probably ask them how that worked out. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's like my favorite thing that I've really crafted so far. What was your favorite ritual? Um, I think I've only really done the one, the cleansing ritual. That's a lie. I've done two rituals. I've done like an initiation ritual and the cleansing ritual. Uh, the cleansing ritual, though, I think is probably my favorite. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what was your favorite shadow work exercise? <clears throat> I feel like that was a little bit of a shadow work exercise. The cleansing ritual. What was your favorite way you set your space? I don't set my space in any particular order or way. Um, as you can see, my space is a mess. Oh, look, you can see my... Sometimes I forget I have tattoos. Is that... Does anyone else have that problem? Like... 
oh, I got this thing that like really hurt and, you know, I was so afraid to get and now it's just like a part of me and it's just like, I forget that I have it. Anyway, um, that's my face. You can't see it, but there's like off to this side a little bit. There is a uh, big weird fan slash heater. Uh, we've been using the heater a little bit. It's on fan mode right now because I'm, you know, sick and I keep getting feverish and then I keep getting cold and then I keep getting feverish. But, um, <coughs> so that's technically my altar, my altar space, right? But I try to make my entire house my altar space. Like I, my entire house is sacred space and I, I don't really set up one particular space for any kind of magic. I kind of do it all everywhere. And that's just how I am. What was your favorite tarot, oracle, card, or deck, and why? Favorite tarot deck, the Green Witch Tarot. Um, because I feel like it speaks to me. I'm a storyteller. Uh, you know, by nature, I'm a very articulate person. Um, and it's not like a tooting my own horn thing. It's just like a, I like to articulate things to people. I like to speak to people. I like to weave stories. Um, right. And not necessarily always speaking for sometimes, most of the time it's written. Right. But, um, even so that being the case, uh, that's, that's what I do. You know, like I, I like to write stories. I like to, to be a storyteller and the green witch is very much a storybook E type of thing. And I'll leave a description to the, or I'll leave a, a link to the walkthrough at the end of this video. But you know, you can tell it's a very storybooky. And even Jessica, uh, when she did her walkthrough of it, she was like, you know, this is very reminiscent of just like story, storybook, like fairy tales. <coughs> um, and it has a lot of nature in it. And I, I just resonate with nature so much. Um, what's your favorite new YouTube channel you subscribe to? Oh man. In 2018. I don't have one. I just don't have one. Um, but I can leave some links to a couple that I do. <laughs> like, uh, on my, if you go on my, on my YouTube page, like my YouTube profile, right? Um, fave babes. There's a section for my fave babes. Those, those are the, the new people that I've kind of subscribed to this year. Um, in this past year that I really love and I really resonate with and any of their videos, I'm 100% on it right then and there. I have to add more to it, so I'm going to do that, but that's where you'll find them. Um, my favorite YouTube video that I've watched. Oh, shite. Well, how about this? Okay. That's question 11, 11 through 18. I will answer question 11 through 18 in a separate video. <coughs> and I will have an answer for you. I will narrow it down to one. And I'll have that answer. Kind of think I already know who it is. But that's okay. Um, I don't remember, like, I don't pick favorites, like, I love everyone equally, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Be convinced. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to answer those all in a separate video from this one. Give me some time to think on it. <laughs> and uh, whatever it is, wherever you are, I hope you have a lovely one. I hope that you're not getting sick this holiday season because that sucks. Enjoy your holidays wherever it is, wherever you are. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Whatever. Fucking you know what I'm talking about. Bye, guys.